Inside the box, you should find the following. Four trays and moulds, one bare mould, the heating unit, and two heating pots. To start off, assemble three of the sides and place the heating base on top. Now add the fourth tray to complete the connection. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. So we didn't actually follow the recipe included, as we found this made something more like jelly. So here's what we used to get something with a bit more of a gummy consistency. Ice, three packs or 21 grams of gelatin, one pack or 85 grams of jelly, and half a cup or 120 milliliters of water. Half fill the ice trays, add your water to the heating pot, and leave to heat for 10 minutes. Break your jelly into cubes and add to the water. Add your gelatin and stir until everything is dissolved and mixed thoroughly. Once mixed, remove the pourer from the heat and turn off the unit. Fill your mould right to the top, otherwise you will find them more difficult to remove later on. Leave for 10 to 15 minutes or until firm. Remove from the trays. OK, so let's move on to the giant gummy bear. Add two packets or 175 grams of jelly, 240 millilitres of water, and six packs or 42 grams of gelatin to a microwavable bowl. Then stir. Place it in the microwave for one minute, remove and stir again. Repeat this process until everything is dissolved. Pour into the mould. At this point, you can line the mould with cling film for easier removal later. Pop the mould in the freezer for 30 to 45 minutes or until firm. Take it out the freezer and carefully go round the edges to release it from the mould. Take your time with this process to avoid any breakages. For full recipe details, please see the description.